general-purpose robots must possess human-like dexterity and agility to match the versatility of humans. A human-like form factor further enables leveraging the wealth of data available from human-hand interactions. However, the bottleneck in dexterous manipulation lies not only in software, but arguably even more in hardware. Robotic hands matching human capabilities are often prohibitively expensive, bulky, or require enterprise-level maintenance, making them inaccessible for broader research and applications. What if the research community could get started with reliable dexterous hands within a day? We present the Orca Hand, a tendon-driven robotic hand with fully integrated tactile sensors that can be assembled in under eight hours and with a material cost basis of only $2,000. The popable pin joint design does not only allow for a quick assembly, but it also prevents joints from breaking when excessive stress is applied. The reusability of the joint after failure saves valuable time and resources that would otherwise have been wasted on rebuilding the necessary parts. After successful assembly of the Orca hand, an auto calibration step will be performed. By testing the maximal allowed joint angles, the hand is afterwards ready for precise movement control. We benchmarked our system's tendon-driven dynamics against the dynamics of a direct-driven robot hand and were able to achieve similar accuracy to the leap hand while being far less bulky in our design. A typical downside to tendon-based systems is their reliability over time. In our reliability tests, we could let the Orca hand perform continuous gripping for over 2.5 hours, at which point we terminated the experiment without signs of overheating or performance decrease. This great durability is thanks to a design of our tendon system with minimal friction, as well as a manual retensioning ratchet spool mechanism. To further the autonomy of the Orca hand beyond teleoperation, we designed a continuous pick and place evaluation task. The experiment requires the hand, which is now equipped with a camera to pick up a cube and drop it onto a sloped surface. From there it can roll into a new random position and the experiment can repeat itself. To achieve this, the experiment was separated into a training phase in which a teleoperator continuously performed this task and a test phase in which the robot tried to imitate what it had seen. We were able to deploy the robot on this task for over seven hours without the need for human intervention or failure due to tendon slack. Lastly, we trained the hand with reinforcement learning, which can be useful for tasks that are hard to perform yourself. After a one-hour training epoch, we could deploy a robust policy that allowed us to reorient a tennis ball with the orca hand.